All right, so today I want to get you guys ready for four brand new Extreme Z Awakenings that are going to be dropping on the global side of the game within the next, uh, you know, week or so, starting with the first three on May 20th, specifically for the Int Giru, the AGL Kitsuya Man, as well as the STR Graphic Gohan and GT Pan. And then a few days later, on May 24th, we'll also be getting the Extreme Z Awakening for LR B Pan. So... Yeah, with all that said, let's just jump right into it. We'll start with the Int Giru first. And uh, I guess we'll go with his pre Easy A details and then talk about his uh, post Easy A details for a comparison. All right, so before the Easy A, his leader skill is Int Types Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 40%, Super Attack Supreme Damage, and Seal Super Attack. And then passive is Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 60% when there is a Hybrid Saiyans. Category Ally on the team, and then Dragon Ball Seekers Category Allies keep plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 30%. With the Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill becomes Dragon Ball Seekers Category keep plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or in types keep plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for 1 turn, Oz Supreme Damage, and Seal Super Attack, and then Passive is Attack and Defense plus 70%, keep plus 2, Attack and defense plus 70% and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when there is a hybrid Saiyans category ally on the team, and then Dragon Ball Seekers category allies key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 40%. So overall just a very solid free-to-play Extreme Z Awakening. Um, solid boost on the passive of course, but amazing, amazing support for Dragon Ball Seekers. Man, key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40% is uh, no joke and then of course the guaranteed seal can be very clutch um i do kind of wish that he infinitely stacked attack and defense but maybe that's asking for a little bit too much i don't know but i do think he's very very solid okay so now popping over to his extreme z area event which is obviously dropping on the same day on may 20th it's your standard extreme z area so you got two stages uh, the first stage is for the bronze and silver medals and then the other stage um, you know is for the gold and rainbow medals and as always you have a you know pool of units you're allowed to bring and you have to have the int giru on your team as well so here are the units you can bring you got some uh i mean all gt characters of course you got uh, some pans actually this pan specifically you got super saiyan 3 goku the agl one uh, some Vegetas, some Babies, um, you know, Nova Shenron, STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, the base Goku here, 17, uh, you know, the list goes on. I can't really go over all of them, but, uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys have enough to make a team. If you need to work on some units to get ready for the event to be able to challenge it, then definitely get to work on it as soon as possible. And there you go. That is the Int Giru Extreme Z area in terms of missions, your standard missions. You get one stone for clearing the stage 10 times, and a couple of uh, Hercule statues as well. And uh, in order to fully Extreme Z awaken the Int Giru, you need 15 bronze medals, 40 gold, or sorry, 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow. Now, moving on to the other Easy Gays, we have the Kid Saiyan Man as well as the Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan, which are going to be Extreme Z Awakened through the same event, which is going to be this like special characters edition Extreme Z area, where you also easy aid the you know, April Fool's Goku and uh, Vegeta, right? So let's go back to the Kid Saiyan Man here. Before the easy A, his leader skill is Youth Category K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises defense and causes supreme damage, and of course, this could be stacked infinitely. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack plus 7% up to 70%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 49%. With each attack performed, launches an additional attack with three or more key spheres obtained, and launches an additional attack with five or more key spheres obtained, recovers HP with candy. And with his Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is Youth Category key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or AGL Types key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack raises defense, causes supreme 
causes supreme damage and lowers defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 90%, plus an additional attack with 7% up to 77%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 49% with each attack performed. Launches an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained. Launches in another additional attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained. And all attacks become critical hits with 7 or more key spheres obtained, recovers HP with candy. So essentially his role is still going to be kind of the same. He's going to be great for those longer events where he can stack his defense. He does more damage. He gets, you know, more defense to start, which is nice. And he can also, you know, potentially dole out some pretty solid damage if uh, he can get 7 or more key spheres. Which of course is pretty hard to do unless you have like a, you know, good orb changer on your team. Then it becomes a little bit easier. But for the most part, you're probably not going to get this too much. But um, yeah, still a very nice EZA, of course, for all these EZAs, with the exception of Pan, uh, the B-Pan that is, their, their stats are also going to get a big bump, right? So for the Kid Saiyan Man here, as you can see, when Rainbowed after the Extreme Z Awakening, he gets 14,341 attack, which for a free-to-play unit is really good, and 8,157 defense. And for the Giru, let me just quickly see... Uh, 12,884 attack, so a little bit lower than the Gitsaya Man, and 8,430 defense, so not too bad there either. Now, let's talk about the Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan. Before the EZA, Kamehameha category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack plus 80%, when performing a super attack and great chance of an additional attack plus 80% and great chance is 70%. And then defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 80%, key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn, recovers HP with candy. Now with the EZA, Leader skill is Kamehameha, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack plus 100% when performing a super attack and great chance of an additional attack plus 100%, defense plus 50% with each attack performed or each super attack performed up to 100%, then key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn, recovers HP with candy. So major differences here is the super attack instead of just raising defense, it's attack and defense. And then for the passive, you get a bigger boost to start, you get you know more boost for the additional, uh, the great chance of additional 100% attack compared to 80% before, and then before, you needed to super four times to get the full, um, you know, full defense passive. But now you only have to super twice and you get up to 100% extra defense. And then the additional boost for having Goku's family as well on the team or in the same turn is also bigger. You know, key plus three and attack and defense plus 50% compared to key plus two and attack and defense plus 40%. So there you go. And quickly check out the stats here. Uh, 13,824 attack and 8,572 defense, pretty solid. And of course, this is the event, and they are going to be for stages 5 and 6, respectively, for the Kid Saiyan Man, and also the Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan. And these are the units you're allowed to bring. The pool is significantly smaller. Um, and of course, when you challenge stages 5 to 6, you will need these characters on your team i'm not really sure if it's going to be both i think you might need both for both stages or maybe just for this stage you need kids man and then for this stage you need grandpa gohan and gt pan not exactly sure how that works but uh either way you need to get both of them both of them done so it makes sense to include them either way right and uh yeah that's the pool i mean i'm probably gonna go with something like uh let's see how would we build this? I guess the leader I would go with is this kid, the the Gotenks, because he is an all types leader. And then I'll probably throw like the the Vegeta on there. Actually, the Vegeta, yeah, he, yeah, he actually would be really good. Yeah, so the Vegeta I probably do. 
And then I'll probably go with Grandpa Gohan, obviously, because you need him there. And then uh, the Kid Saiyan Man. And from there, I mean, I would probably include the Goku still, even though he doesn't get the full passive. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll throw this pan in for fun or something like that. I don't think it's going to be too hard. I don't think it's going to be too bad. But uh, we'll find out for sure once the event actually comes out. If I, re if I remember correctly, um, these stages were decently challenging, but they weren't like really hard you know like you do have to just be a little bit careful with like who you put in front of a bunch of attacks and you should be okay oh let me quickly change the music here um i really like this theme but for some reason the volume is like really low i don't know if you guys can tell but let's switch it to this one's not bad vegeta blue is okay um let's go with this one int super saiyan blue evolution vegeta get you guys hyped a little bit for the upcoming anniversary uh, anyways, okay, back to back to the video. <laughs> Let's move on to the LRB pan here. And for LRB pan, okay. So before the EZA, her leader skill is recovers three thousand three hundred and thirty three HP per key sphere of a of a character's type obtained. Uh, super attack, colossal damage with a chance of stunning the enemy, and chance would be twenty five percent. And then the uh, ultra super attack is colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, which is 30%. Passive recovers 33% of damage dealt as HP and high chance of reducing damage received by 55%. Now with her Extreme Z Awakening, she becomes significantly more effective in my opinion. I mean, of course, she's supposed to be, right? A lot more effective. So yeah, she's much better with the EZA. Leader skill recovers 5,555 HP per key sphere obtained of character's type. And then uh, 12 key super attack, uh, colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then 18 key super, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. So this is going to help her do, you know, a little bit more damage. And then uh, she gets medium chance for both the 12 key and 18 key. So she's going to be... A little bit more consistent for stunning and then her passive is high chance of key plus three and high chance of additional uh, key plus three recovers 33 percent of hp dealt or sorry of damage dealt as hp and reduces damage received by 55 percent so now instead of getting like a high chance um of uh, reducing damage received by 55 percent it's guaranteed okay so she's going to be much more consistent when it comes to defense and then she's also going to be able to get her super off much easier because, you know, her links are a little bit... I mean, they're not too bad, honestly. You got Shattering the Limit. You got, you got GT there. So, like, depending on the team, like, it wasn't too hard for her to get her super off. But now, you can get that 18 key super pretty much every single turn, right? And, uh, wait, hold on. It's not even 18 key, is it? Um, she can get the ultra super at 15 key, right? I think that's how she worked. Let me quickly check here. I'm pretty sure it's 15 key for the Ultra Super compared to 18 key for most units, for most LRs. So, yeah, anyways. Um, what else did I want to say? I forgot now. But either way, she's definitely much improved. And uh, she's going to be able to do a little bit more damage, which means that she can also heal you more. Because obviously, the more damage she does, the more healing she'll provide. She's going to be a great tank with that guaranteed damage reduction. Getting her super off more consistently. And uh, unfortunately, the leader skill stays the same. I was kind of hoping for like a bigger boost on the... I say leader skill or active skill. Either way, uh, I meant active skill if I said leader skill. I, I was hoping, you know, it would, it would do a little bit more damage. But I don't think it's a huge deal either way. You know, it's a good uh, active skill for sure. All allies attack plus 33% for one turn. Condition is the same as well. So there you go, guys. That is the LRB pan. And lastly, we'll check out her Extreme Z Area event, which is kind of the same as, you know, the free to play LR Extreme Z areas we've seen where you need to have very specific characters. Okay, you need to have these six characters, uh, the Fizz, April Fool's Goku, AGL, April Fool's Vegeta, the Tech, Andy Vegito, you need the uh, Int Ghost Tanks, AGL Kid Man, and also Grandpa Gohan and Pan, and they all need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened, and their hidden potential also needs to be fully activated. So they have to be rainbowed, 
and also um, all the easy aid before you can take them on your team to challenge the extreme Z area. So uh, yeah, if you guys need to work on these characters, then definitely get to work. Obviously these four are already available. These two will become available within the next four days or so. So uh, yeah, make sure your team is ready by the time this event drops in roughly eight days from now. And that is pretty much it, guys. I don't have much else to say. Um, hope you guys are stoked for these upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings. I'm definitely looking forward to the B-Pan the most, as I think most people are. And outside of that, I mean, I, you know, I'm excited to test these guys out too, but I'm not like super, super hyped for them per se, but it's always nice to get free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings for sure, so... Uh, there you go guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this uh, video helped some people out there who maybe were less prepared before they started watching. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out